climb for yourself, not for other people. Um, as a climbing YouTuber, I am no stranger to this comment, but today I am literally climbing for other people. Yesterday I posted a question on my Instagram story. I said I was looking for ideas to try in my next climbing vlog. And I just decided to turn it into my Instagram followers, control my bouldering session. I decided I would do this in two parts. One, because a lot of people responded and I just don't have the time today. And two, because I don't want to injure myself. I feel like I'm aware enough of my body and what it's trying to tell me that I know when to stop. And looking through some of these requests, I can kind of tell how some of them might hurt my body if I do them in tandem. So I just compiled a little list of the things that I'm going to try today in sequence and hopefully I don't, um pull a tendon or get a pulley tear. Bouldering games, tapping each hold with your toe before grabbing it. Um, okay. I think this sounds like a really good, like, warm-up activity. I don't think that I would be doing this on anything I'm projecting, so let's just start off with that. Okay, so I actually really liked this one. One, because it did a really good job of opening my hips, but also because it made me think really carefully about what holds I truly needed. I think sometimes on lower grade climbs, it gets a little bit overwhelming seeing all of the holds that they give you. And so this is a good way of being a little bit more economical, I guess, with your climbing and really only reaching for the holds that you need because it is quite hard to get your leg up all the way above your head like this. So. Kind of a fun exercise. I did try it on a V1, but that, to be honest, was a little bit advanced for me. I think in the future I would just stick with a V0 until I get a little bit more flexible. And then maybe in the future I can graduate to V1s and maybe even higher. So we'll see. Thank you for the suggestion. It was really cool and I'm going to try it again. Um, okay, climb everything with your back to the wall. This seems like it might be grounds for a little bit of injury. No! The whole like back facing the wall thing was interesting because I had to fight literally every single natural instinct that I've learned and I've trained while climbing. Even starting was a huge struggle for me. And like for sure, there are certain climbs where parts of it will be facing away from the wall, like when you're stemming, etc. But your body naturally just doesn't like scuttling up a wall backwards. What I found the hardest actually was climbing with the middle of my foot. I don't know how well this would translate to other climbs, but was a fun little challenge. Be careful if you do try it though. Climb in a firefighter suit. Okay. <laughs> Climb using only one finger on each hand. Okay, so I believe this move is called a mono, and I'm not sure what is the safest finger to mono with, but whenever I see people doing monos, it's always with the middle finger, and so I'm hoping that that's the safest one to do it with. Um, this suggestion seems like one that might really hurt me, so I think I'm gonna do this on a really easy V0 on the slab wall and then have like my other fingers there as backup so in case I feel like I'm putting a little too much tension on it, I can go in and rescue it, but... I didn't find this one to be too challenging because I strategically decided to climb something that was a little bit slabby, so it was a little bit more than 90 degrees, and because of that, I was able to mostly just engage my legs more than my fingers. They're more used for like stabilization purposes. 
And so maybe I cheated this one a little bit. Sit start. <laughs> this person wants me to find a climb with a sit start. I guess that really depends on what my gym has. Uh, I don't know, we'll see, I'll try to find one. So luckily I did find a sit start that was a V3. So I was like, oh sweet, a V3 sit start, not bad. I bet I can just cruise through this. And so I started out really low, hanging with much normal force, going perpendicular to the hold, you know the whole drill with a sit start. And I was cruising through and then, um, yeah, I couldn't finish it. And instead of trying to go after this climb over and over again, since I had so many more suggestions, I decided to move on to a cooler climb and a way better climb that I modified, I guess, into a sit start. I don't think you needed to sit. And it turned out to be like this really cool climb with the biggest volumes I've ever seen. And so I think this climb is way cooler than the last one and I eventually got it. So very cool very sit start. Okay, so um, luckily for you, uh, there's actually one climb at the gym that I know of that ends in a bat hang. I have not tried it yet. Um, I've actually never successfully done a bat hang. I have tried, but I don't know. There's just something about my like ankle strength that maybe like isn't enough to hold my weight. We'll see. I will give this a good, honest try. So for some reason, this climb has the longest intro sequence that ends with a bat hang, and so... I just climbed the opening sequence, is that what it's called? I just climbed the beginning sequence once to prove to myself that I could do it. It did take me like a good minute to even get to the bat hang. And so, um, yeah, feel free to skip that. But yeah, we've got like some interesting drop knees, a cool funky sloper in the middle. And then eventually I do make my way down to the glorious bat hang. You know, you make mistakes, you make mistakes or whatever. I'm having a little bit of trouble here because I don't know which way to go. Do I get my heels in? Are my shoes gonna pop off? Do I get a toe in? What am I doing? My arms are kind of pumpy. Why was that intro sequence so long? I don't really stick it, but um, I decide to just go in straight for the bat hang my next couple of tries. And yeah, like I said, I've never successfully gotten one of these before. I think it's just like the mechanics of my ankles or maybe I'm just weak. But yeah, um, a little bit, a little bit tricky. <laughs> I would love to hear your best bat hang beta because obviously here I'm struggling and I do want to protect my neck, my head, everything that's valuable to me and um, so moving on, how do I keep myself safe on bat hangs? My hair is coming down. By far the most requested thing on my Instagram story were dinos. And like, I get it. A dino is a dino is a dino, um, whatever that means. But this is kind of like dependent on the sets at the gym. So I'm gonna go inside and see whether there are any dinos. I know there's one dino that I did in my last climbing vlog, but it was kind of like a baby dino, just like a little um, training wheel dino. So we'll see. I think the other dinos in my gym right now are like 
big burly person dinos so um I mean just for entertainment since a lot of y'all wanted to see that I will just jump around on them but uh no promises this is the only super clean dino one move wonder that I found in the entire gym and it's looking kind of tough and so I did give it a couple honest tries it does look like I'm not trying I promise you I am trying what's this eventually I do kind of um stick it I guess <laughs> Techie slabby slabs. I love this one. Um, just for you, I will go to the slab wall. It was freshly reset on Monday, I believe. I've been getting more and more into slab recently because I feel like I'm overcoming the fear of heights that I had when I was first starting out. I thought that this black climb on the slab wall was looking a little techy, and I just decided to hop on. It's got a cool mix of sloperiness, a little bit of side pulliness, a little bit of a high foot action too. So really everything, a lot of balance as well, which I really appreciated. Okay, finally, a lot of people said campusing. Don't think I've ever tried campusing. I don't think my arms um, are capable of doing that. We'll see. If I bring someone on a first date to the climbing gym, I've got a campus. I've got to show them how strong I am. That's a callback to an earlier episode. <laughs> I almost did not include this because re-watching it, I am so embarrassed of how bad I am, but that would not be authentic, and I'm here to show y'all my progress, and so here it is, my campusing in all of its glory. To be fair to myself, this was at the end of a climbing session, and so my arms were a little bit toasty, and here I am trying my best on the campus board, something that I haven't really tried ever. Um, I don't know. Hey guys, that was it. I decided if you stay long enough to watch the end, then might as well show you a very intimate picture of what's going on right now. I've got my microphone that I stole from a college friend and a pop filter made out of stockings and a little circular mason jar lid. So that's what I'm working with right now. So instead of filming a really cool outro, I'm just gonna give you this. Thank you so much everyone, seriously, who wrote in. I know I only have like 200 Instagram followers, but I felt like every single one of you was contributing, and so it just means a lot. It makes me feel really connected to all of you, and I am just like really overwhelmed by that. So thank you so much. If I didn't get to your suggestion in this video, I promise I'm gonna get to it in a future video. It is 10.30, and I'm going to go make myself a sandwich now. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.